So I failed this weekend. I really messed up. I had a competition of weightlifting where you snatch three times and you clean and jerk three times to add the most cumulative weight that you can to your total. And for me, I was trying to hit a kilo, not kilo, a cumulative total of 260 kilos, which didn't happen. I finished with 253, it's not seven kilos under what my goal was. And the result of that was second place. Now I wasn't gonna win first because the gentleman that beat me is an absolute stud, but I didn't care about that. I honestly didn't care if I finished first or last. I wanted to be the best version of myself on that day. And clearly what happened was the best version of myself did not show up that day. Crushed my snatch, went three for three, finished at 117 kilos or 257 point whatever pounds. Clean and jerk is a different story. Uh, I went one for three. I hit my 136 or my 299 point whatever pounds, and then I missed my next two lifts. Now, I will make a separate video going more in depth, analyzing my technique, analyzing what happened, and going over how I can improve that whole thing posted after this video. But for now, we're gonna talk about the mental side of things, how I'm assessing the failures, how I am taking the good pieces out of it and putting that and keeping that in my, my mental side of things for when I have another down spell. Because honestly, after 24 hours after the event, I was in a pretty bad slump. Very emotional, very angry, very upset at the performance. On the day, it's an above average performance. Did pretty decent. But for my own expectations and how I expect myself to perform, complete failure. I should not have missed two lifts. I should have worked on my front rack position for my clean. My upper body was tight. I didn't do enough mobility throughout the week. I didn't sleep as well as I could have. Probably didn't do enough practice from going from shoulder to overhead, as that is typically a sticking point, a weak point for me. And I clearly needed to do more work on it. Otherwise, the two lifts wouldn't have been missed. I was fueled up correctly on the day, though. I know that for a fact. I know that I took appropriate jumps for what I had trained. We just didn't execute. Like, the jumps weren't anything crazy out of the normal from what I'm used to. Everything I hit in practice, good to go. But leading up to the competition, there are definitely things that I could take away and look at and assess in my programming for why I failed. But because of that failure, I am more excited ever to jump back into training. Right now, I want to sign up for another weightlifting competition and go gung-ho and go send it and go prove to myself that I can hit over 136 kilos clean and jerk. But that's not the smartest move. I know now I'm moving into a different season. It was a fun, fun trip training for four months, improving my snatch, improving my clean and jerk. And now because of it, I'm a much better weightlifter. But now it is time to transfer those skills into CrossFit for the next four months. That's going to be my main thing. Training, living, eat, breathe, sleep, CrossFit for the next, honestly, six months because I have a competition in June. It's really five. But if you count this month, it'll be six. So really five and a half to in to prepare. So that's my mentality going forward. This failure is going to be fuel to the fire that I will use in my training. I will most likely hit a clean and jerk that is up there in percentage to prove to myself that I can do it. Now granted, it's not in the competition setting, but that's the mentality moving forward. I'm very excited to push my capabilities, sprinkle in some more CrossFit, but still I'll be lifting heavy, be lifting it often and pushing myself to the best of my abilities. So that's how I'm taking this failure. I'm still pretty hurt by it, but I'm not gonna let it crush me. I'm not gonna let it end my ability to train. I'm gonna get over it and I'm gonna do better next time. So I'm making videos like this to log this. I will watch this again and document how I can make things better. So that's the plan to overcome failure. And I'm excited that I failed because I needed this loss in order to motivate me and elevate me for the next step of my weightlifting career. So for the next five months, this will be on my mind. And then probably into the next year when I do another weightlifting meet, this will be on my mind. So I'm glad I'm documenting it. I hope you guys can take some things out of it. And as always, peace. Much love and thank you for watching this video.